Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming. We're back with some more Warframe today. We're going to be playing the Void Fisher's Excavation Mission. This is on Lith difficulty. It's uh, an easier difficulty, but we're just going to show how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, we can call it. All right. So the first thing is to get to the yellow diamond on the map and we have to kill enemies, as always, to get the Void Reactant as we're moving forward. Uh, these enemies are weak, so it's more of doing the mission than anything right now. Um, so one of the main things that we're looking for are these, can these canisters here. They're power cells, so we do need these to power the project while we're moving forward we can grab one however when you do pick up a power cell it does make you have to use your secondary weapon so just be careful of that that your if the mission's too high then that makes it a little more difficult so this excavator is the first thing and they're marked by a b c d so on and so forth and it's a defense kind of thing so we're killing enemies as they come up looking for power cells so if you look at it on the left side of the screen, the excavator has power that's at 13%, and it still needs to move for another minute and 10 seconds or so. So we have to collect more of these power cells, like so, and we just have to walk up to it. And once we get close enough, it feeds it in and we get more power. They do give about 20% per, and so you do have to collect a couple of these for every excavator. Now, the goal of this mission is to get 200 cryotic excavated per mission. So, as you see, we've got 10% more power. We probably need one more power cell for this one, so we'll go ahead and feed that in there. And power is full now, so we know that this will continue to feed. Now, in the meantime, this will live, so we will collect our reactant here and then move on to the next objective, which is located at the Yellow Diamond. So you don't have to stay at the excavator the entire time that it's running. Um, however, it does, it does help. So, let's head to the secondary objective. Okay, we've got one popped up now. Now, got a little iron star there, that's kind of nice. So, we still need more reactant, so I don't want to end this mission too soon yet. Um, you can do this by letting it, uh, letting the excavator halt but that gives you time to kill these enemies however you do have to defend it still it's the health bar can still be killed even when it's paused so we can grab a uh, let it spend some time powering down and it is about five uh, it is about six of these per six power cells per excavator to fully power it up so it does take a good bit of killing to even get that far um, so we're going to go ahead and place this in and get this get this number down so we do need two more reactants that's really not a whole lot there's one down here and then so we're looking for more power cells okay looks like one down there and we need to just get one more reactant before we feed in the last power cell. So let's, hopefully we can get both of these, a power cell and a reactant. We did get our reactant, so we're just looking for one little power cell. And these are dropped by enemies, and there it is, the last one we need. So let's pick it up and power it. So as the power is full, we just have to protect it, and we'll gain our cryon. Now, I do recommend while you're doing these missions that the that you 
plan to farm for a while because you need cryotic in large amounts usually. Um, and the amount that you excavate is the amount that you get. Um, this can be boosted by the boosters that give you the resources. And here we are with our reward screen for completing our void relic. I did get a silver reward, so that's kind of nice. And the more of these cryotics you do, the more boost you get. Okay, so we can select another relic here if we would like to. We're going to end, so we're going to select no relic. And this would allow you to continue moving on. So every two of these will get you will open a void relic, and then whenever you're done farming your cryotic or your void relics for the time being, you just head to the extraction site, which is noted as the green on the green icon on your um, screen. So it is a good way to farm relics. They are fairly fast, and if you're playing with a team, then the uh, the amount of enemies is increased, so you farm reaction fairly fast, and it does give you the cryotic, which you need quite a bit of if you're trying to build uh, items or whatnot. Uh, there will be videos coming out to show how to farm specific resources, but for now, well, mission is complete. This has been Ice Locked from Nocturne Gaming. And if you have any questions, thoughts, or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you next time.